Oh, come on, stop bubbling and be ready for once. That's one really, you know, that this is one of the original flaws with these. You just wait for them and wait for them and wait for them to be ready. So, while that's going on, I might, might as well just go to my living room again. Just gonna, oh, oh. I'm just gonna take one of these plastic spoons and I'm gonna twirl that crap up. There we go, yeah, whee! All right. I guess we just move on to the dungeon then. Right. So, uh, to be honest, I got a few more items like uh, a few more potions, a little bit more gun got marble to throw at the enemies. Just a little bit more to be on the safe side. Right, so, I've uh, already in uh, advance established that I can't find it. Oh, a current contract. Too bad I've got it right now, not later. So, in short, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna give that five minutes with these items at this place. I'm going through this cave, the second and the third, but not the fourth. I don't need to take the fourth. So yeah. Let's just tune in five minutes here. There we go, five minutes. And uh, let's do this. Let's go! Big pile of money. Awesome. Awesome. Right, so that's what feel the first uh, cave game. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the, to the city. Leave in the money, just go to the field too. And, well, we're going to make this quick. Let's move it. But first, I need to know how much the items were worth that I got. Didn't get any equips this time either. Kinda disappointed about that, but nah. I'm more not disappointed by the Dutchman's Pipe. Of course, those are used with uh, skill. But only the, pro uh, the veterans know it's that. Then we have the quest items, but man, you can get things from these quest items. By only MPC. Now people are probably crying for me doing this. <laughs> or maybe when I'm doing this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> so, let's see if I got some uh, new things because I really don't know if I did get any. Oh, that's it. That's it for now. All right. I'll just empty my pockets. Go into the next area. That's it. Right at this area, the Kabbalah Relics Dungeon Number Two or Field Two. I'm going to take a five minutes as well. Here we go. Five minutes. I'm just gonna wreck some enemies now. I'm beginning with this guy. Let's go! Yeah!
Right. Going back to town. Even though I didn't get any money, I did get a lot of items. At least. So yeah, that weren't that um, generous this time. Let's go move to the town. Okay, so let's see what these items were worth. Hopefully they were worth a lot. I did find Tom Hunter, by the way. Didn't pick that one up uh, before. Got a smiling face. Two small umbrellas, which is for water assistance, by the way. More flying weight. More of Iron Sun. Coffee beans. An empty stone. A luck stone. DA stone. So 8,000 there. Not really sure if I get anything here. Let me just want to check that out. So yeah, it was poor. It was a little bit poor there. But they did drop the items pretty commonly. Pretty... it was used... It was common... Common fair for them to drop the items. They dropped the items pretty good. But it was... Um, the distance between the enemies in the field too was a little bit. Mm, there was a, le a little bit more distance between those enemies, so that's why it wasn't that much this time. Well, I'm going back there. Since you already know this number by now, I'm just gonna buy myself some some more of these. Short of money, yeah. in order to get back later. So I'm gonna leave this money, this small amount of money, and I'm just gonna, you know, nullify it all again, and then going back to field three, which is the last field. Hmm, I wonder. Okay. Okay, so at dungeon three, dungeon field three, and here it goes. I need to find out if I can take care of the Naranjos. I think I can't when they're powered up, but I think I can if I am doing this. Ah, oh, it doesn't seem too dangerous. A little bit of a challenge, but not too dangerous. Good, you didn't drop anything. That's good. I don't want any unnecessary items dropped suddenly. So, let's uh, do it. Let's do this. No. Let's do this. And there we go, five minutes. Alright! Bring it! I got a little bit of items and I actually got a equip once too. This area seems to be a little bit has a little bit higher rate of drops or as it's, as it's normally called drop rates. Let's move on to the town and see the end of this this uh, journey through the Kabbalah ruins. Alright Right, back in time, I'm going to see if I got a little bit better with uh, this place than the others. I'm not really sure though, but I did get a few items. 
I'm just gonna begin with the use item and a new item. No, but I got this old epoch sword. It's not that great, but at least it gives some money, right? Yeah. So we have the last light, which by the way is fire and could be good. You know, weapon for fine high points. Ancient dice, a few Asian jar, a few one Asian flute. More flying weight, more suns. No real other things. Yeah, it's a little bit weak. Then again, it was just five minutes, and the enemies, as I said, in the, in the second area, in the second field, they do have some kind of distance, and it doesn't seem to be a lot of Narunders in there. But the Narunders are pretty generous, although they are somewhat difficult. As you, as you heard before, I got killed. I had to redo it. The only tricky part with that was I uh, had to reset the time exactly where it was. That wasn't easy. But at least I checked the one, the clock and see, see what time I had left. Go all the way through again. That's not fun. I mean that's a waste of your time, but what can you do? I mean seriously, I went right into two of them. I I have only myself to blame. I can only blame myself, alright? Right, that's this place, and if I'm just gonna quickly check my papers here, I think the next area is, let's see, next area is the, excuse me my chair, excuse me, it's not so good today, so it's just taking a lot of time, Ooh, I think I, this will be the last area with uh, with this guy because uh, it's time to oops war. Yep, it's time to go where this guy is. So he's going to his home turf, all the way to oops. Well, I'm going I'm going to enjoy that more than I've enjoyed before dungeon because before dungeon was a chore. This one. Might not be because it's a little bit more exciting area. Hopefully, I'll keep myself alive as well. Some enemies are a little bit tough there, and this guy's just grunting there. Well, let's see what happens. See you then.